Welcome, my name is Wang Ming from the Department of Plastic Surgery, Jinming Hospital. Today, I would like to present you a paper entitled Reformation, Suppressive Angiogenesis and Lymphagiogenesis in Melanoma by Downregulating VGFA, VGFR2, and VGFC, VGFR3. This work is completed by myself my colleagues and my tutor. As we all know, cutaneous melanoma is a highly malignant tumor which tends to metastasize in the early stage and lead to poor prognosis. Hematogenous and lymphatic metastasis are common in melanoma dissemination. Reformation is a kind of mTOR inhibitors. It was reported to have anti-angiogenic and anti-lymphagiogenic properties. The aim of this study was to investigate if reformation can inhibit the formation of blood vessels and lymphatic vessels in melanoma. So at first, a melanoma exnograft model was generated by translating tumor cells into the back of the immune deficient mice. Two weeks later, reformation was injected intraperitoneally. Then, another two weeks later, the tumor was harvested. We used hematocline and eosin staining, immune chemical staining, western blot, and the PCR observed the structure of the pathological of the tumor. The distribution of the blood vessels and the lymphatic vessels and the expression of the mTOR signal pathway. We finally found it in the reformation treated tumors, the CD34 positive blood vessels and the LYV1 positive lymphatic vessels decreased in the pre-tumor and the intratumor region. The expression of phosphorylation 4-ABP1 and the phosphorylation S6K1 were also downregulated, as well as the expression of VGFA, VGFR2, and VGFC, VGFR3. So we concluded that reformation separates angiogenesis and lymphagiogenesis in melanoma by blocking mTOR signal pathway and subsequently downregulating the expression of VGFA, VGFR2. VGFC, VGFR3. And we hypothesized that touch therapy via mTOR signal pathway may control the hematogenous and lymphatic metastasis of melanoma and even prolong the patient's survival time.